Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is got a bright pop of yellow in it, keeping it kind of in the neutral area for everything else. I got inspired by my Kat Von D metal palette and this is just kind of what happened. This is kind of how I like to do my looks is not really planning it, just kind of creating as I go. So if you're interested in seeing how to get this like slightly colorful mixed with some neutrals glam, then keep on watching. So starting off, I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is just going to prime our lids to where all of our shadows stay in place all day and also it's going to conceal any veins that we have and give us a nice even canvas to work from. Then jumping into my metal Kat Von D palette, I'm taking the shade Bone, which is kind of like a cream shadow. It's not quite a skin tone shadow, more of my skin tone if you're pale as as crap, it will match you. But um, it's just a matte shade. It's gonna set our lids to where all of our matte shadows blend out really well and diffuse really well together. Then I'm gonna take Suede from the palette. This is a really pretty, just very basic, uh, like beigey taupe transition color. It's very soft, so it's just gonna give us a good amount of uh, dimension in our eyes and it's gonna be a really good shadow to blend everything together. And then I'm gonna take the shade Oak. This is like a true medium brown shadow. It's in the neutral zone for our shadows. So since we're gonna be mixing a little bit of different tones, I wanted something that was gonna rest like right in the middle so everything would diffuse out really well. So I'm taking this on a flat, fluffier brush and I'm starting to carve out my outer V area and slightly diffuse that in to where it's got a very soft transition. And then I'm going back in with our bigger fluffy brush with a uh, suede on it and I'm gonna buff everything together. And then I'm going into the shade Velvet, which is a uh, cooler plum shade. And I'm taking this on a pencil brush and I'm concentrating this really close to the lash line area and just uh, condensed a little bit more than what the oak shadow was, just where that doesn't start to get too messy and blurred together. Then I'm taking whatever's left over on my brush from oak and I'm buffing out the edges of Velvet. Then I'm going into the shade Flash. This is a very bright metallic yellow and I wet my brush for this so that way it would be super intense. And I'm taking this on like the inner two thirds of my lid. I'm kind of diffusing it on that last little tail end and I'm keeping that edge by my crease area pretty sharp. I'm not doing a cut crease or anything. I just don't want it to be messy. And then I'm going in with my Milani uh, coal eyeliner and I'm lining my tight line and my waterline just to add some nice drama and definition closer to our eyes. Then for my wings today I'm using my H2O uh, Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner. You guys know this is my favorite. I use it every single time I do a wing. If anybody asks me what my favorite eyeliner is, it is always this one. I've used it for years and it has never let me down. <laughs> I think the biggest key to getting a good wing is be slow and steady with it. Don't try to do it all in one fell swoop. Um, that's like my biggest question I get asked on how to do. So just be patient with it. It's a learning curve. Then I'm using my eBay lashes and while the glue's getting tacky on those, I'm taking my L'Oreal mascara and I'm priming my lashes. This is just going to get them nice and dark and a little tacky so they're going to stick just enough to the fake ones to wear. Uh, you can't see the transition between the fake and real ones. And then after that glue is tacky enough, I'm just going to pop those on and press them together to where it's a nice smooth transition. And then onto my skin, I'm using the, uh, I don't know, it's like a sample size of a Tarte like, tape uh, face primer. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. I'll put the name of it in the description box for you guys, but I've been really liking it. Um, and also I'm using their Amazonian Clay Foundation. I got both of these in my Ipsy bag and I'd never used them before, but honestly I have been loving them. I'm definitely going to get full sizes of them once I'm done with these little sample sizes. I feel like they oxidize super well and they don't turn any funky colors and I get some really good coverage and nothing gets cakey. So all pluses. And then for concealer today, I'm using my uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And you guys know this is my favorite. It will forever and always be my favorite. I never deal with creasing. It always covers up my under eye circles. And I'm using it to uh, highlight as well. So I'm using it on my chin, my nose, and underneath my eyes. 
And then to set that, I'm using my Ben Nye Colorless Luxury Powder. You guys know this is one of my favorites. And I like to pack this in uh, my concealer with a dry sponge. I like to use the Real Techniques one because it's got that flat edge to it, so it gives a really clean edge. And then I'm going into my Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from uh, Too Faced. This is their lightest shade of bronzing powder. It's just going to give me a nice uh, definition and structure to my face without being too chiseled. I wanted to keep this a little bit more simple um, so it's not quite as dramatic. So if you're feeling like wearing some color and wings for a daily look, here we go. <laughs> uh, my hairline is cracking up. I went boating and I burnt my hairline. I was like literally the only area that I got burnt on my face or anywhere on my upper body. And it was my hairline. <laughs> then I'm taking my blush Zane and I'll put the name and like of the company and everything in the description box for you guys. But I um, am just popping that onto my cheeks. It's got a nice little uh, blush tone to it kind of like a plum tone so it's going to tie everything together really well and I'm taking my Inglot highlighter on a huge fan brush and I'm going to just highlight my whole face like a disco ball. Um, I'm highlighting my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin and also underneath my brow bone. I love this highlighter because it's got a cool tone but it also blends super well with anything else I wear so even if I'm wearing all warm shadows I feel like it's still Kind of ties everything together just because of how it reflects color but it's my favorite highlighter if you guys haven't noticed i've used it a lot recently and then i went with my dark plum closest to my lashes and then i'm diffusing it out with the uh, shade oak so i'm not using the shade taupe on or suede on the bottom i'm just keeping it on the darker side of my lashes and then i'm popping some highlighter in my tear duct area then giving a good coat of mascara to my lower lashes to tie everything together here then onto the lips, I'm using my NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Beauty Mark. Um, it's a very cool brown color, so it's going to tie in both the warm tones and the cooler tones that we have on our lid without being too crazy dark of a lip color for a daytime wear. Or you can wear this for a night out, like I said. If you're me, you'd wear this to Walmart. If you are the average human being, this would be like a night out clubbing look. So it really just depends on the kind of person you are. All right, and that is everything for this look. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as well as comment down below what else you guys want to see on my channel. Um, I've got some super exciting videos coming your way. Sorry, everything's been kind of spotty on my uploading. I've been in the process of moving and that whole jazz, and it's just a headache. So I'm trying to do the best I can while I'm doing all these crazy life changes. So thank you for your patience. Um, I will have all my social media in the description box for you guys. So check all of that out as well as a list of the products. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.